All right, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter one today. Uh, anyway, that's not how you start a video. Go say welcome first. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you're new. Uh, series Bontanamo Rants. Um, and I was thinking, ranting doesn't always have to be negative, right? Ranting has this sort of connotation with anything in life where if you rant about something, uh, you're ranting and raving, right? You're either a loony, you don't know what you're talking about, or you're just like stark raving mad or like super angry. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go the opposite way this time. And I've been loving Shipman recently just for the hilarity of how bizarre it is as a map. If, I mean, there's not much to figure out about this map. Basically, where I am now is probably the strongest power position on the map. You can cover yourself in any direction. It covers a lot better. If you play Domination on this map, on Shipment, this is the A flag, and then the opposite corner is the C flag. Uh, C flag doesn't have nearly as much decent cover. Off to my right, where I am now, uh, on the right-hand cut, terrible cover. I mean, really, uh, I'm just spraying and praying now. I don't know where these kids are coming from. Yeah, really, if, if you... You'll notice, right? Every time you push that direction, someone's there, right? There, there's always someone there, and I love that spot. Uh, I'm talking in a, another video I've got lined up about uh, something that should have been fixed quite a while ago that another couple of YouTubers picked up on that is still broken. Uh, it's, it's not necessarily an OP weapon, but it is most certainly an OP feature of something in... in especially when you play shipment. But that's for another day, I'll rant about that. I've got some clips lined up to demonstrate this. Uh, but generally, I just play a sub. I think if <laughs> you, if you want to be the person that everyone in the lobby rants about and rages on because you're completely smashing them, then I would say try and hold this position. It's not as easy as it looks. It, I've had some terrible games trying to do this, but yeah. Honestly, I'd say don't play an LMG. There. Too slow to react. Hip fire is terrible, and you I mean the, the, it's one thing being the hate to go in the lobby because you're on a mega streak, and there's another thing being the hate to go in the lobby that just sets up with an LMG. I like the chap next to me who is not watching the left. There you go, teammates. Teammates. What are they good for if you're not talking to them? Uh, so honestly, I'd say if you want to try this, and it's a lot of fun, use an SMG. I really like the Type 100 of late because it's super accurate. It's not as powerful and the fire rate's not as good as PPSH. Um, but I definitely say give the uh, give the Type 100 a go. And I actually run Forage, just so I don't run out of ammo. But that's not actually what I wanted to rant about today. I just thought it's a nice little intro. This is like 75 to 28. It's the craziest, uh, craziest. Crazy, it's crazy quick. Crazy quick. That's that's the phrase I'm looking for. Crazy quick game of TDM on ship boy, shipment. I don't know ship shipment normally is that quick, but hey. No, what I wanted to talk about is clutching up, right? Clutching up as in you really need to clutch up for your team, and then this happens. <laughs> you get someone waiting for you with a knife. As I talked about this in in the third Montana rants, uh, like all these contracts and these orders they change the way people play that guy playing with a knife but this is what I wanted to show you this is uh, one of the LMB guys this is one of our teammates playing a bit of search he's just taken two out he's on his own it's 4v1 3v1 2v1 this is an absolute stomping an absolute stomping 1v1. 1v1. Love it. I was going mental at this point. We're coming back from 2-0 down in this game. And this this is what clutching up is. This was a 6v1. 6v1. He just squad wiped the other team. Absolutely, absolutely smashed them. So the theme of this video for me in this specific match was I was just getting killed left, right, and center. I just kept on getting pwned. So I basically spent most of the time spectating. I think I went two for four. I had a pretty torrid game, but I had a huge amount of fun. Huge amount of fun watching the guys play. And coming up in a second is probably the cockiest, stupidest thing you can do in a game of search in the fourth and final round. Right. 
I really would never ever suggest doing this. Even if it's the first round and you want to get points, don't do it. You, it's just too cocky and it can go wrong. It can go really, really badly wrong. So, here he is. We're gonna do, he's going to set up. Teammate's going to set up. He's going to plant the bomb. And now watch top left. See this guy? Just there. What he should have done is shot at the teammate. Because he failed. That was such a cocky move. He deserved to get pwned. And our teammate could see him as well. And look at that. He clutches up again in the last round. I guess I guess my rant today is really about clutching up in search and destroy and how it's really not as easy as it looks. Uh, uh, what can I say? 15 for 4. This is almost not even a rant. This is just props to burning time. Jesus Christ. If, if you've noticed, he's featured a few times in some of my other videos. <laughs> anyway, that's going to wrap it up. It's going to be a really short one today. Hope you enjoyed it. I've got another one coming soon. I want to talk about that glitch I mentioned earlier. Uh, so look out for the next video. Thanks very much. See ya. Bye.